It's not out of the ordinary for healthcare workers to work on a holiday, but during this pandemic, everything is different. And today, a lot of Dallas County nurses spending time with COVID patients during one of the deadliest weeks we've had so far. Merry Christmas. Christmas Day during a pandemic. My name is Rose. I'm a ER nurse. My name is Lori. I am a trauma nurse working in the ER. Perspective from those on the front lines. We're called to help and we're called to go above and beyond for complete strangers and it's hard. Normally I wouldn't be here tonight, but COVID has changed my plans. Like I'm sure it's changed a lot of other people's plans. So here I am. Uh, we're short staffed and trying to make the best of it. All working on this Christmas holiday away from their families to care for the loved ones of others. We have seen a lot of positive cases the past few weeks, um, and it's never easy to tell a parent that their child has tested positive for COVID and that they can't see their loved ones during the holidays. Pandemic at times has been challenging, at other times has really brought our team closer together. And we're definitely, you know, there for the patients because no one else can be there with them. And you need to get up and get dressed and put your badge on and tell these patients that it's gonna be okay because no one else is gonna tell them today. And even if they don't make it, you have to make them feel like they will so they at least have a chance. 3,346 COVID patients are in North Texas hospitals, according to the Texas Department of State Health Services, the most patients in our region since March. This week has been one of the deadliest in Dallas County since the pandemic started. Sunday to Wednesday, the county reported 113 deaths. The last few weeks have been challenging, to say the least. Um, sometimes it just feels like you go to work and you watch people die and then you go home and try to eat something and sleep for a couple hours and come back and start over. These nurses tell me they're hopeful that the end will come soon, that their co-workers have become second families and that in some ways they may be changing the world, but it's still tough their message this Christmas. I hope I don't see anybody tonight. I hope you have a great night and Merry Christmas. So Merry Christmas, stay safe, wear that mask, and please sign up to get that vaccine as soon as it's available.